Well, it's been, it's been like uh, five months between fights for you. That's uh, that's like an eternity, right? What's what's it been like for you? Oh my goodness, I was going crazy, punching everyone, you know, kicking down doors. Now, um, it's been good. I've been training a lot uh, and just improving, working a lot on my ground game and uh, just grinding in the garage with uh, my husband slash coach slash you know everything. So yeah, it's been it's been a good um, leveling up period. Is that something that you wanted? I mean, or is it just like a byproduct? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. No, um, I, I can be impatient a lot. So when I feel that I have some momentum and what I'm doing is working, I want to keep trying it on different people and keep getting in there and testing myself. And I was really excited for the Rebus meet, uh, the Rebus match because this was going to be a great way to just catapult my, um, just my career, my stock, getting a good win over her. And I felt like we had a really solid game, game plan against her, um, especially her coming off of a knockout loss. I felt like I could touch the chin. And, you know, unfortunately, she got sick, and I had to wait. And we waited for her because it was such a good matchup. And when she was still sick, we ended up booking the Tisha fight. So, um so, it, like, it, it, the game plan is still pretty much the same, to hit to her and get her in positions where she can't hit me back. And I was just able to, to really focus on some new skills and get those good enough to try out in the cage. And a lot of times you learn something new, you don't try it out for, like, a few years because you haven't become confident over it. But because I had all that time out, I could practice a lot, go live a lot, and, um, yeah, it's it's probably for the best, even though I didn't want it. I was going to say, I mean, uh, this year it's been kind of weird, right? All the start, stops, rescheduling. I mean, I don't know, it felt like you were getting momentum, and now it's kind of a bit paused a little bit, I guess. Has this been a challenging year for you? Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, but it kind of came at a good time um, because I had switched things up a bit with my camp. So working more, more with my husband, working more with um, a new co coach, uh, a couple of new coaches, um, I really got to become comfortable with the new techniques that I was learning under these guys and, uh, and just more confident in those techniques. So it's, it, it actually came at a really good time for me. And, uh, and yeah, it's, now it's time to try it out. Like I was able to try it out against Yoder and everything worked really well. The corner worked really well and I was really happy with that. So it was good to have a fight against someone who maybe wasn't ranked, who, um, who I could like go in there not as nervous about and really just open up and be myself. And now I feel like I can do that against someone as dangerous as Tisha as well. I guess last thing for me, I mean, is there any value at all to looking back on past footage of, of Tisha and you, or is that just silly at this point? It's been so long. Hell no. No, I don't watch that fight. It was the worst fight in UFC history. I hate that fight. Um, but I think, I think the reason I have such a chip on my shoulder from it is because it was the first time I've ever gotten booed. And like I pride myself on being an exciting fighter, even when I lose. If it's an exciting fight, I can I can uh, find worth in that, you know. Um, but being being allowing Tisha to hold me down and make it a boring fight, like I was, I'm so mad at myself about that fight. So to be able to go back and work on things, and I've worked really hard on being the much better fighter on the ground. Um, I, I feel like. This is going to be a great fight to get that back, take away that loss, and uh, really show people that I'm going to be exciting no matter who I fight. Angie, do you come into fight week more confident knowing that you have vascular boob already? <laughs> you stay on my Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm in shape, man. I've, I, uh, another thing that I changed that I wasn't really doing maybe last year was um, just lifting more. And being more consistent with that, a lot of times I would I would just the conditioning part. I'm like, oh, I get enough conditioning wrestling people and picking people up and and doing and hitting pads. But now I added uh, strength uh, to my game, and I feel like I can really see it in my physique and uh, definitely in my vascular boob. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, though, right? Because we sometimes 
I can understand that. Like, you, why would you want to lift weights when you, you, you know, you, you're training for the sport that you're training for? But have you felt the difference? Have you felt the difference when you lift weights? Does it come out in practice? Yeah, definitely. I think I think the biggest difference I feel is my grip strength. Or before, when I would grapple with people. Um, I would just feel that my grips were weaker than theirs just from punching things so much and my hands getting jacked up. But like lifting weights has actually improved my grip strength. Um, I feel like it's improved my clinch where I already felt like that was one of my strengths in the strawweight division. I had like one of the best clinch games in there and I feel like uh, lifting has just gotten me even stronger there. Um, so just being able to explode, being able to like make all my body do do a motion at the same time. Lifting has really helped me uh, in that area too. Thank you. Done. Bye.